I'm Dave Thompson with Thompson Auction Service, and we are pleased to bring you the Robert Vieter Estate Auction this Saturday, April 6th at Oak Park Mall. Uh, we've got some beautiful items here, as you can see. A couple of beautiful marble top uh, dressers. We've got some wonderful spongeware bowls and some vases. Wonderful McCoy red wing pieces as well. Um, really you were telling amazing. me about this guy. That's kind of a fun piece, right? Fantastic. Get red wing cookie jar, thou shalt not steal. It's a gorgeous piece. But you can have cookies out of there. You sure can have cookies. You can put <laughs> whatever you want in there. Okay, also, what is this stuff? This I know what this stuff is, but why? Why would people collect this stuff? It's a beautiful Westmoreland collection. A lot of Westmoreland pieces, excuse me, but milk glass mainly. Uh, you've got some some goofish glass that has the paint that rubbed off. Now this um, was like turn of the century people. This is what they collected for fun. It was a kind of like a status thing. From that part that point on, especially some of the animals as well as the uh, uh, the fish. You know some of the unusuals. They've got turtles, lions. Uh, the, you know even the Native American you know vintage uh, head right there. The piece there is uh, is amazing. Uh, it's really all the way from religious to animals. No milk glass is just the, it's like got the appearance of milk. Correct. So it's just glassware. And many of the pieces are... are uh, was it made by more West, than one company? Westmoreland. Yes, absolutely. But some you know, some of the marks that may be on the bottom, that's just got a patent mark um, on that, as well as something like this, maybe more of a... Now this was just for candy or whatever? A nice little compote. You can do whatever you want. Maybe somebody had fruit in there. Fruit. It didn't matter. You know, whatever they'd like to have. But the covered pieces... You know, I always had something fun in it, I imagine. So you can see. You can put your valuables or rings. Yeah, whatever you rings like. Or little hiders. This is a very unique piece here. The, the beautiful the fish there, as you can see. Very decent shape, too. There's no, no chips or cracks. Really okay. kind of neat. <laughs> as you can see over here, we've got a beautiful selection of all the way from slag glass. You can see the slag pieces here. Beautiful candlesticks. We've got some. I like them. Uh, just a yellow glass. Some people think they're ugly, but... No, they're fantastic. They're gorgeous. Yep. And then they got the dark amethyst. Glass. Yeah, amethyst. The black pieces here. You can see that there's some, some beautiful pieces there. No, no it's not made out of amethyst. It's just the it, name to describe it. Correct. The being black, being black. Okay. Some beautiful carnival glass pieces. You got a beautiful picture here. Um, kind of a bride's basket in a. In a and this was just to showcase some definitely. fruit or something on the front. Absolutely. Of it. And it's not your typical stuff. Yes, you no, definitely not typical. This is. This, this is stuff that's that's hard to find. I mean, you gotta look long and hard if you wanna get some decent pieces like this, so. Anything you wanna highlight here? Oh, I mean, obviously the beautiful vases are gorgeous. No, those aren't vases, they're vases. Well, you can call them whatever. That's what say the river you Yes, absolutely. Hmm. You got a beautiful jack in the pulpit right there, some, and it's. Yeah, that's, that's, is that hard to make? I would imagine, I would imagine. It's, it's supposed to the folks who do it, they can do it well. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure. <laughs> and then our mustache clips. Yes, course, beautiful. Now that would keep the gunk out of my mustache. Or it's it's supposed be, to be, yeah. It's supposed to do that. So, so it won't be so embarrassing when I'm out and people <laughs> right. go, what a disgusting guy. Absolutely. And we've got a couple of beautiful lamps that have been electrified, that, which, are, which are, are pretty decent. And you've got this one yeah. here. That is, it's very uh, it's beautiful as now, well. Now these guys, I think, are older. Yeah, they've got, uh, this one doesn't have the top on it, but... There again, I don't, I can't see the mark on it, but there they are. They're definitely the glass is a different feel to it. Yep, kind of a satin glass look appeal okay. to it. But it's well, like it's you put big old, yep. You put a big slab of meat on that or I whatever. I think that's what it was. Serve yep. your turkey or whatever it might be on. Oh no, not Wedgwood. Yeah, yep, yeah, Wedgwood, Wedgwood, England. Yeah, absolutely, you could. That platter was was built to last. <laughs> And it weighs a little bit. It does, yep. That they certainly do. Oh, and this is a nice eye catcher, too. Absolutely. Nice little uh, basket there. Oh, and then we got to talk about these. There's Absolutely. so much stuff here. As you can see, the, there's a cake plate and a couple of compotes here with the hands. They actually have the hand there yeah, that's holding it. It's holding that. it. Yeah, you can take a look at that and you can kind yeah, of see that. A little bit more. Oh, there is a hand. Yes, the hand is holding it up. Not Very just nice. real fancy, and that's just be nice for a wedding if somebody wanted to. That's very fun to put on a table. Very ornate, yeah. And these here probably left, and they've got a beautiful coin dot pictures. Really nice. And, and, to, and to see one of them is great, but to have two of them, to have a pair is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, absolutely repeat fantastic. that. What is that again? Because I don't see the value, but you, you guys kind of just salivate when you see them. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did when we first saw them. The coin, the, the coins, there's dots. They call it coin dot, but probably uh, made by left or Lefton or Fenton, kind of uh, the glass there. i got to make sure that it's right, but... Some beautiful pieces there as well. You can see the just the intricacies of the designs and things like that. So this is just nice designer pieces to put in your hutch that 
that just draws your attention to it. It certainly just does. Eye catchers. And you know, it was fun to, to see some of the pictures that Bob had uh, of this the, in the black and white versions. So yeah. you know they've been around a while. So this is a beautiful <laughs> bride's basket as well. As you can see, it's very decent shape. Hmm, fun. And then we keep going on and on. And we continue. continue this was one on. of my favorite pieces. What can you tell me about this? It's like a cast brass, is it? Kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of metal. A, yeah, kind of a pop metal deal, but it's it's the you know the the Victorian style or the uh, the era. I think it's it's just gorgeous that they have all these different pieces. You know, with that style, that look. What about the Victorian age? It's so cool. It is. When I'm looking about it, it just outclasses anything we've been doing. It, it certainly does. It certainly does. You got a nice little uh, uh, boot collection and a boot collection it, it is. People collect boots, I yes, suppose. Yes, boots and shoes. Mm -hmm. And then you got your Pheasants. top shelf stuff. This is oh. stuff you're going to be trying to, if it doesn't go to, I'm sure your number might come Oh, I, I would love, I would love to, but uh, I'm certainly. You're off as in doubt. But those are like uh, <laughs> Beautiful. What glass is that? Is that just that's a just, heavy? Yeah, that's a heavy glass. Probably, you know, we if it was smaller, we wouldn't wonder if it was a candy holder, you know, can, original candy holder, but I'm not sure that that would be that's yeah. with the pair being that it is. Well, just, pheasants were kind of a status thing, weren't they? Yeah, very much so. A pheasant under glass. I'm still waiting to have some of that. <laughs> I haven't had that either. So no. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have something to look forward to. Beautiful deco style uh, candlesticks, beautiful clock, mantle clock there. Mm -hmm. Porcelain. Here's some uh, majo or yeah, majolica piece. Nice little syrup. Now that's real, huh? That's the real deal. No, I read a little bit about that, and that's like a whole period in time. Yep, this, we know but lot, several very collectors. Skilled. Yes, and they, they, there's several collectors of that of those those pieces. So that's going to be a, a well, sleeper. That's like 800 year, AD or something. <laughs> I don't know about it's, that. It's something old. Yeah, absolutely. But you can see the rest of it. You got some green pieces there. A nice little hat pin holder right there. Oh yeah, for our hat yes. pins, keep our hats on in those Minnesota Back in the windy days. days. Yes. Oh, those days are still windy. Okay, let's go on to this King's one. Crown, King's crown pieces as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is the, this is really awesome. This is oh, some this of is the, one I'll be bidding on. Yeah, the, the beautiful uh, depression pieces as well as uh, some people call it Vaseline. Some people call it with you know it's made with that uranium and it glows, huh? It does. It really. It's as that black light comes up, you'll see some of the the colors that that emits. Oh, yeah. That's a random piece. And, and what are these things? It goes on. Well, these were electrified, but these at one time were beautiful candles. And of course, with the prisms, real glass prisms, you know, those are, those are another thing of status. You know, you could, you could really show off with Yeah, with I was watching things. with the silvery moon on uh, Turner Classic Movie. <laughs> and I looked them back and they go, there's the crystals. You know, that was, sure everyone enough. had crystals. And, you know, it's just, it's just so deep. It, you know, it goes all the way back to the, uh, oh, Bohemian is the terminology for some yep. of this stuff. You know, this some is a beautiful things. piece, the beautiful set. It's I think it's triple plated uh, silver there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just it's unique not, that it's in the glass, right? It, it's very unique. The fact that it's there, uh, it's the glass a, keeps a, it from tarnishing. Nice piece, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, 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 I you got a can't breathe guess, when you take it home. Yes, correct. Yes. But we'll have boxes for everybody. So. <laughs> As you can see, we've got some beautiful candle holders and just you know you see this some is of, older stuff too eh? and it very and very much is and a 50 percent off <laughs> well you can see the candle was been there and that was just for cleaning absolutely, out the candle absolutely yep, the key, uh, to keep the clean the wax out okay as you can see you've got some cranberry glasses this beautiful picture here or yeah it is a picture with uh well, then we also have some some yeah. wonderful amber pieces nice rose bowl some, some neat pieces there as well. The yellow glass goes for a little bit more, doesn't it? Uh, the green is, is the more desirable, but the yellow is still is very collectible. Very common though, I suppose that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. and we've got some vases here. Just because you see them all together doesn't mean they all sell, but that's a Royal Copley vase and they're kind of desirable as well as some of the other ones that you have here. you got McCoy and, mm -hmm. and different things like that. This is a neat little bowl. That is Napoleon a picture right of... Uh, <laughs> he used to coach the Packers. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and here's a nice selection of plates. I mean, we don't have to go through them, but you can see the various. Yeah, I love this stuff. Plates. Yeah, you, you can see the elk and. Yep. Elk and the different Bavarian. Birds. Those yep, were hand painted, I think. Many times, yes. A lot of these are hand painted. So, real artisan work here. Absolutely. And then you got some bottles with some stale booze in them, but <laughs> I found these in the basement. Yeah. And Cuba. apparently, he had been to Cuba and brought back some yep, so there's fine some liqueur. So we got some very aged banana vintage, liqueur vintage. that you can't sell, but the bottle you can. Yeah, we just yeah, sell. We just sell. Take a look. You'll see the soup bowl. Yeah, those are French. 
It's Haviland yes. Lagos. Limoges. Limoges. And the Haviland had a thousand and one sets. There's this, oh yeah, but this do. is this is fine and you still see this company made today, but this is probably a 40, 50 year old set here. Absolutely fantastic. You can see the Limoges mark there. The let me see if I can get into it. Oh, you're making me edit. Okay, good. French, <laughs> French China and boxes that say from Japan. It's it, yeah. That's just so a it's just traveled. Yeah. Well traveled. Bob Very. had some nice boxes, but he knew which was the better stuff. Maybe. You know what? He had a lot. He's got a lot of his stuff. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. go off to the front so we can sit. This guy looks like she's full of personality. Here, put the microphone on her. <laughs> We also have a lot of Austin, Austin related advertisements, as you can see, um, from Austin Dairy here in town. Of course, today we had a Eastside Pharmacy. That's from 58. Oh, back when we were puppies. A lot of neat things in the showcase that you'll see here as well. Some, some more advertising. We've got some, uh, some photos as well as, there, there's a red owl here in Austin. There's some, some advertising. People love there. the red owl, yeah. Too. You've got some wonderful things. You've got fishing, you've got some railroad stuff. Yep. Stereoscope cards. There, take a look at there. There's some Milwaukee there. Road. What's all unique about this stuff? I believe it's got advertising on it. I'm oh, okay. I want to see it. Does yeah? This one's got people, Sterling Citizen State Bank. So somebody might have a f grandfather that worked there or something. Yeah. That have some sentimental value to that. Mm -hmm. To me, it wouldn't mean anything, but to somebody, it's like uh, life is. I love these chairs. Very neat chairs. That's like hand embroidered. What do you mean can embroider? That's no, just hand, hand embroidered. They probably okay. embroidered those. Yeah, they're very old chairs. They're smaller chairs, so it isn't like kind of parlor chairs. Kind of me and you probably shouldn't sit in no, these chairs. Sir. No, sir. But there's a nice set. Beautiful paperweights. There's another edit. There's the Mayo Clinic. Yes, the Mayo Clinic. You've got Kentucky US 51. You've got Ottawa. All the desirable places to go to. Yes, all the places at the time. Absolutely. Boulder Dam, you've got some Colorado pieces, Salt Lake City, New Mexico. I so thought traveling. this piece here was unique. Absolutely. This is right in with the uranium glass. This is The gems. <laughs> Look here, you don't have to go to the beach, it's right there. It's right there in your paperweight. And this would keep the papers from flying off your desk <laughs> when you have the window open. Got lovely pictures just like this throughout. Mirrors, everything uh, that you can imagine. Some beautiful lamps. There's me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of Take lamps. They're older gorgeous. style lamps. Yeah, the dog lamp, I think it's And we're still gorgeous. putting some together if we get oh, out of here. Back in the house. Sure, sure. It's very old. I figured 1900, 1890 in there. Very, very possibly. It's got the dovetail drawers. Does it? Yep. On the side, so you can tell. And it's got some war wounds. Yeah, of course. There's a knot there. The duck right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see it very well. <laughs> Same thing here. you got the dovetail drawers on the feet. They're almost I want him home short. Brother and sister. Yeah, these two were in the same room together. Yeah. Very nice. Same Could you use some refinishing, but would you just leave them? Uh, that's For, the, you know, the patina. That's the, the, the way the way it, it looks. You can put something on top, cover it, and leave it the way the way she sits. But a lot of people do like to refinish, so it's. But I see people buy a piece of granite and put it on top, and, and some reason that granite makes it like, oh wow. Okay, what do you got here? We got lots of these. Yeah, I've got several trunks. Casey too, Jones was like in there. No. Some of them are pretty decent. Uh, they're, in fact, they're all decent. I mean, I mean they're, they're older. Oh, camel. Yeah, you know, the Camelback. Huh. What period would they be? Uh, early late 1800s, early 1900s. Okay. And Very people actually bought their possessions when they came from the old. From the Absolutely, old they did. They did. We got beautiful furniture pieces over here. I like this easel. This, this is easel. one of my things I'll probably might be bidding on. I it's a real what? flimsy thing. But it's but it neat. Is absolutely gorgeous and, and, and delicate, very, very, very ornate. And this piece. was tucked in the corner, so I'm thinking this might be 1900 too. Very easily, very easily. And this was just for the artists in the family. <laughs> absolutely. If you're looking Dr. for that, Dagnum. nice little drop, drop front uh, little secretary desk. And really then the nice. heavy bureau drawers underneath. Yes, beautiful. That's kind of a common thing. And this is probably older than the moons too. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. It's East Lake style. The desk is is what it's made in. Um, the era, you know, the era is, like you mentioned, early. And they dropped some ink in there. Yeah, well, so you know it goes what? back to the quill days. The, the, the quill pen. Back which, when which, I was in grade school. Which we have a few. We have a few here. So. Really? Yeah, Absolutely. people love that stuff. As you can see, some more and more, some lovely pictures all the way down, or pictures on the wall. Some neat, neat chairs. This, this was $200 from my brick furniture at one time. I can believe it. Brick furniture must have been around for a long time. Bricks been around. It's been on the Austin this area was wrapped in plastic, so it's kind of still the way it was. Yeah, yeah it's really, it, it, this is really nice. 
for two small people to sit well, together. Two small or some one large guy that really loves himself. Yeah, that's right. That's oh, right. I'm so bad. <laughs> and then we got the ice cream parlor yeah, chairs. Yeah, nice little uh, parlor table and a couple of chairs. This could be a project thing, maybe a little. Yeah, you know, I think that's what somebody did. They put they put a different top on it, but you know, you can certainly make it uh, bring it back to. But it's wrought iron. Yeah. Oh, we got crickets in here again. Oh, where do I go? Nice we got a couple leg. of these. Yeah, gate leg uh, table. Kind of. This is more of the Duncan Fife style. You know, the lead, uh, you tuck, put it down and tuck it away, and then and uh, oh. when you have company, you can utilize the space. So you put the table away, and then you can get out your dance shoes on a Saturday night, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now there's a. This is just the land of stuff, right? Yeah. This is this is everything uh, of the household, and uh, there's I, some I fun stuff everything. in here, though, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. Got some some moose collectibles. We've got obviously some bar collectibles as well as books. That's and, for lawyers, okay. Yeah, yeah, the bar. The bar. The bar. And got, you, you got any idea what? I think this is from Norway. It looks like it is. Oh, okay, oh, for Norway, Norwich, I could have to translate that. Copyrighted in 1908, so you know there's some some history to that as well. But yeah. We've got uh, we've got books. We've got cold coffee jars, glass coffee jars. We've got okay. bottles. We've got parable style woolen blankets. We've got yeah, well, people were surprised by those. They're made in England. They're wool, yep. but southwestern style. Yep, and they used to make this very style. Or they still, they still do, I believe, up in Faribault. But you've got some, some over there. You get the washboards. You've got uh, the old wood hangers. You know, some of it with advertising. They uh, just beat any kind of hanger you can buy, right? <laughs> they, you, well, it, it really like helps. The wood, the wood ones, you know, they help a lot, a lot oh. better with your. Yeah, with your clothes and that. nice wonderful selection of ladies, ladies oh, does hats. that kind of stuff sell or just absolutely people desire that they show off they show things off like this yeah i love this old style golf hat that is awesome it's, you don't see this style anyway well, you know you can if nice you had light. if you had a head like this you could put it you know you could decorate things like that it's oh okay i know it's kind of silly but you know all different styles young girls love that stuff yeah and grandma too even some men's men's caps yeah, we just brought in a couple. I didn't know where the hats were. Now I know where they are. Tools. We've got several pieces, of, several tools. As you can see, you've got some old moons, uh, yep. rims as well, whole ringer washer piece, some uh, some old style jars. How about the tins? What are these? Now, people little love mini this pie stuff. safes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you, you put your pie in there and put a lock on it and keep the kids well, out you of just, it? Yeah, just more or less a cooling place. Keep, keep, it, keep it in there so, so things wouldn't get into it. Of course, you got some nice vintage Corvette jackets. These are very delicate, and you don't want to probably wear them because they've been put away for quite a while. So, so 78 was the year of the anniversary Corvette. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hiding this nice hutch behind here, ain't it? Yes. We're going to have to move It's those. actually a beautiful, yeah, we will. Okay. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> little dresser inside. Yeah, a lot of those. And then you got the lamps. This is stuff we're working on. Now, we're still these, assembling pieces. Oh, fantastic! These are this these is are our favorite the, uh, one here. Absolutely, and it's got the it's been electrified, but it's they're oil, oil lamps and they're gorgeous. Not for kids or pets, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> or you put it in the bedroom and lock the door. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably put the there's something that goes in there too. I think it was this one. So you know, you go something like that. Oh wow! Beautiful. And then of course that would fall right on the top of there. Not, not fall, but you know, everyday household items that, that we it sell. It just never stops. It never stops. And look at here. Beautiful Griswold waffle maker. Now, people uh, like that, huh? Absolutely. And we found this piece to be very interesting. It's yeah. a Civil War. Oh, yeah. is it? Really? That's a, yeah, we fantastic. found a date on it. Yeah. And that's just some bricks. That is fantastic. Well, give me a big finish. Or what else? You want to get some stuff here? This I found very interesting, too. Some gorgeous tables. Well, this is for somebody that likes to throw a party, right? Absolutely. Nice little end, uh, end table, a side table. You can use that to entertain as well. And several little pieces of, t of tables, furniture. And we've got this piece here that's got hand carved in. You've got some beautiful flowers in that. Well, as, we, as I mentioned, I'm Dave Thompson, and we're here um, for the Robert Vieter estate auction here Saturday, April 6th. At so, Park Mall. Okay, uh, first timer come out. How easy is it to uh, bid? What do you have to do? Do you Very have to, easy. You check five in. forms of identification? Yeah. Proof Usually of just alien. one. Bring your driver's license or, or uh, valid identification, your state ID. We'll get you signed up, registered. Um, you, you pay before you go. Uh, we'll help anyone that's never been here before to an auction. We'll help them bid. We'll help them buy. Um, and of course, it's uh, a lot of fun. It is. It's, it's like auctions. a game show, but it's your money. It's exactly. It's your money. <laughs> and we certainly appreciate uh, everybody that's going to come out, as well as the people that have already been interested in the items here for auction. You, you'll, you'll notice over there some statuary. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I hate to, you know, just some gorgeous pieces, the ladies, the, the bronzes, the the globes. It's, it's, we continue to find things, and as you mentioned, you continue to bring things out. So we appreciate the opportunity. See you Saturday? See you Saturday. Okay. And there's a preview. Friday night. Preview Friday night uh, here at the Oak Park Mall um, from 6 to 8 o'clock. Yeah. Feel free to come on out and peruse the items. If you can't make it for the auction sale and want to leave a absentee bid, we certainly welcome those as well. And you start at 9 in the morning and it goes probably nine a in the morning majority of the afternoon? Yeah, well, probably mid-afternoon. We're going to break off into two rings right around noonish, between 11 and noon. One of us will do furniture and one of us will do the small items uh, and continue right along. So Okay. Bueno. Thank you, sir. Go and insert here. What is this? This this is a gorgeous piece of actual alligator bag. And it's you mentioned Dan, you said very possibly could have been a dentist or I think he was an MD, so maybe this sure, is something that a doctor dentist, whatever, on. whichever. Yeah, there's some extra there's a scalpel and some some tools right there yeah, with so it. So you're ready to go to work if you Absolutely. can't afford your health care in this Obamacare world. <laughs> you might have to edit that out. This is stuff I brought out today. Oh, nice. Because you were wondering about one piece. Oh, yeah. And of course, Dan buffed the heck out of this one, and then the rest of it doesn't look so good. That's funny. Well, you know what's, you know what's supposed to go here, don't you? This is a pickle caster jar. There's a piece of glass that goes here. It's called a pickle caster. That's what this is for, to grab your pickles out of. It's a, it's a metal. Oh, so you have like a There's, there's a, a glass jar, jar that, that's, that's supposed Could to be Could be out here. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I would have well, recognized it. It'll be a heavier glass. Some gorgeous pieces out there. Yeah. As oh, you yeah. can see. I work the decades trying to get this thing to turn around. It's just a fun piece. You know, that is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, that is a quad, or qu uh, yeah, quad plate. So this could buff up even nicer if you want to do Very some much more work so. on it. Absolutely. And it's got some brass and copper in it. Yes. Artisan. A little, little taller. Oh, got for cobalt the piece, yeah, for the pickles. So you just just a fancy way of serving like your stockings pickle. advertisement for it's for leggings uh, back in the day, beautiful mirror, kind of somewhat risque even that uh, that, that they had it on a mirror. This is the kind predecessor of... to the Christmas story leg lamp, probably. <laughs> Very possible. Could have been the motivation. <laughs> this is kind of a fun goofy oh, piece. Oh, beautiful too. candle holder, yeah. absolutely. And that's got to go Four back a ways too. It certainly does. That's that's. It's not a ritualistic thing. I hope not. No, <laughs> but it is gorgeous nonetheless. Really, and it could be cleaned up too. That's like brass and just painted in the end. Yep, little paint, little colorful, colorful piece.